channel. My name's Brad and this is Supercoach Pro. I scored 2,240 for this week, which is the top 4% overall for this round. Season ranked, moved up four spot, spots sorry, at 425, so that's pretty good so far. Um, I was actually hoping I'd sort of stay in that top 1,000 and it actually looks like I actually went up, so I'm pretty happy about that. All right, we'll just go through my team quickly tonight. Stuart, 92. Um, that's probably going to be sort of his low sort of scores, which is good. He's so consistent. Mills went off the chain, scored 145. He was just everywhere that night against... I uh, forgot who they played. Um, anyway, we had 125. He's really solid again. He bounced back from that 75 last week. Ridley, 84. He's going pretty slow at the moment, but that's okay. Um, that's what you kind of expect. He's going to be a great value for people that want to pick him up. In a couple of weeks' time, his break even is going to be quite high. Uh, Bo's 93, really sold again. Short 98, and I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I need to trade out Chapman this week for a defender rookie, so I'll end up doing that. And Cozzy, if you had to field him, well, that's just bad luck, I guess. 38, it's better than nothing. Uh, going on to my midfield, McRae 106. I had him as captain, didn't quite work out. Should have actually t taken Zeebles 111 in hindsight, but you just never know these things. I just wanted to take the punt, hoping he would go 150, but he didn't. Uh, Walsh, a bit of a down game. He couldn't find the pill as much because the doggies midfielders just seemed to grab it every single time. Um, but he still had a fair bit of the ball, but only used it for 89% uh, sorry, 89 super coach points. Uh, Merritt, yeah, he played a really good game. I think that was his second highest score for the season at 131. Trelaw, this is a bit of a failed pick so far. I brought him in two weeks ago, scored 97 and now 87, so... Not happy with that pod, sort of, yeah, not a great pod to have at the moment. I'm hoping he does a Kelly, though, and Kelly in the last two weeks has scored 120, I think it was, and now backed up with 111, playing that wing role. So, and he attended a few centre bounces, so I'm pretty happy with that. Brayshaw, I bought him in at 479, so if that's his minimal sort of scores at 70, I don't really mind that because he was my value pick. Sort of the same as people bring in Stephen May for that value, and he scored 77 this week. Anyway, on to the next player, Powell, 73. It's really solid for our rookies this season. Um, and 85 to Jordan. He was everywhere. I was super impressed with him. I actually th forgot to use the loophole for Poulter. I was would have taken that 81. Um, and Dow and McRae, I think these two will come back. I'm pretty sure they had pretty solid VFL hit out, so I'm not too worried about them. Um, now, this is quite funny. So you can see here, Poulter and Hall... On my previous video, I was just mucking around in my team and I accidentally pressed confirm and realised I couldn't reverse my trades and end up with a guy who's not even on his bubble. Lucky he played okay because he scored the 81, so that was just a total fluke. Uh, I don't recommend it because Hall's only played um, one full season, so it's a risk I'm going to have to use all year, but it is what it is. It paid off this week because it was Collingwood. But um, anyway, going on to Grundy, so consistent. Hickey played really well against Gorn. I'm happy with the 102. And I reckon Flynn will play this week. What I reckon they're doing is giving Mumford two games and then Flynn one game. So he's going to be a slow cash burn. Um, and knowing our luck, he probably won't play on the buyers. So that would be just perfect, wouldn't it? Um, Zebul, he was on 100 at the start of the fourth quarter. Copped a knock to the shoulder and sort of, yeah, he's really soft when it comes to these sort of things. He sort of carries on and he was fine. Um... Uh, 111, you'll take that, uh, of course. And 116 from Impey, he was everywhere. That West Coast and Hawthorne was such a boring game, I've got to admit. Um, and Hall, he had 30-odd touches for 113 points, which, yeah, I was pretty happy with that mistake move. Walker's on the chopping list, um, 419k now. I don't know who I could actually grab for him because I've only got 10k in the bank. So, yeah, I'm not sure what to do with him. And Warner looks like to hit his ceiling too, so maybe he might be on the chopping block too. Scott really sold of 85. He didn't do anything for two quarters and then had like a really good last quarter, so I'm happy with the 85. McCreary, I'm surprised he didn't do better against North, and Brockman should come back in a couple weeks too. If not, I'll just use him as my loophole. Um, but yeah, I probably need to get rid of some of these dead rookies like Chapman to a rookie, maybe to Nathan Murphy next week. Uh, just on to the trades for this week. Um, it's definitely going to be Tex Walker into somebody else, but I'll have to look who's scoring okay for that 430k sort of range. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Anyway, I hope you guys did really well, and I'll catch you on the next video for the round nine preview in a couple of days.